Admiral's Log. As the relentless waves of time carry us forward, the year 1944 continues to unfold with its own unique set of challenges and opportunities. In this ongoing war with Italy, a curious silence has shrouded our conflict. A paradox of existence where the absence of clashes has become its defining feature. But within this seeming lull, currents of change surge beneath the surface, heralding the promise of transformation. The Mediterranean, a crucible of history, now witnesses our strategic gambit. The deployment of battleships that carries the potential to redraw the contours of this prolonged conflict. The tension of anticipation hangs thick in the air, awaiting Italy's response to our calculated maneuver. As we stand poised on this threshold, my role as an admiral encompasses both resolve and responsibility. My orders to provoke a decisive battle with the Italians are in conflict with my own directive to keep as many of my men alive as possible. We will have to tread very carefully in these Mediterranean waters. Hey guys, still here and welcome to episode 17. We are in the Mediterranean and it's about to get busy. We have a couple of battleships here. We have the Modern Galaxy, leader of the Galaxy class ships. We also have Indiana and Maryland, two of the revised Dreadnoughts. They're now up to 1941 standards, but it's August 1944. We're about to test how well these ships are going to face off against a substantial portion of the Italian Navy. The Italians, they, well, have been at war with them for a long time, yet they have never actually taken any action against us. Now that we're entering their waters, that's about to change. They have the Amiralio di Santbon. This is armed with nine 16.1 inch guns. The other ship, Cristoforo Colombo, same deal, 16.1 inch guns. So when it comes to firepower, uh, size wise, they have us outgunned. But I do have pretty advanced 13 inchers. And I suspect that those will be very useful at dealing with all these heavy cruisers. They're all the Vittorio Veneto class, and that means they all have 6.1 inch guns. Does that make them useless? Um, no, I would not say so, because their HE can still do a lot of damage to my sailors. On top of that, these things, Italian style, are blisteringly quick. 39.4 knots. And if they cannot actually deal any kind of damage with their guns, then their torpedoes, that's a lot of torpedo launchers, will surely cause issues. So getting rid of the, the, well, the heavy cruisers and the light cruisers might actually prove to be more difficult than the battleships. Let's find out. Okay. Weather condition, good. We got daytime, we got clear weather, we have smooth waves. Um, again, you can question whether that's going to be beneficial or not, considering that I'm not the only benefactor of that good weather. My 16-inch guns can probably deal just about as much range as they can. Their 16.1s have a 28km range. Mine have 259 with HE. But these ships are most definitely going to be firing armor-piercing at 34km range. And then you got the Galaxy. The Galaxy has uh, 32 and 32.9. So she'll be able to outshoot these things. Now, I also have Chattanooga around. Chattanooga is one of the... Is that a Defiant? Yeah, it's a Defiant. Um, the Defiant class, last time around, did not do very well. The problem with the Defiants is they have very, very little armor. And it's proven to be extremely difficult to add more armor to these ships. So I'll keep this very close to the rest of the fleet. Making sure that it just screens the battleships. And as such stays, well, ideally very far outside of the range of any potential uh, 6, 7, 5, 4 inch gun that they might have. Interestingly, I cannot see the battleships, but I can see some of their cruisers. Yeah. This is one of their cruiser builds. This is the different one. This has 15 7.3 inch guns and a few torpedo launchers. These are their speedboats. Pretty low main armament, but basically a very big destroyer with a lot of torpedo tubes. I don't know the size of these launchers. We'll have to look at that after we get a good ID on them. I got a lot of them. 
This might work against the Italians, though. Considering that the AI really pulls no punches when it comes to launching torpedoes and is known to launch torpedoes against their own ships, it is possible that that is going to be the case here as well. Now, by some modern marvel of Italian engineering, they were able to put this turret onto that barbette. Um, I'd say it doesn't quite fit. The other one has the same issue. <laughs> Interesting design by the Italians. I don't exactly know how big of a threat this thing is going to be. I don't know the radar range finder. I don't know the base range finder. I don't know the propellant. There's a lot of unknowns. We did already do one big good hit against one of their cruisers. One hit for 16,000 damage. Wiped out almost the main tower by the looks of it. Look at the scorch marks on that. I think they're not doing full speed. Accuracy is less than a percent, so this was an extremely lucky hit. I want to focus on... Oh, we hit something else as well. Actually, it might not even have been targeting the battleship or the, the cruiser that we hit. I wouldn't be surprised if we actually accidentally hit the target. Considering that there are so many different Italian ships around. You just point your 13s and your 16s in their general direction and you're bound to hit something. Even if it's invisible, even if it's smoked up, there's a decent chance a shell will stray far enough to deal damage against something else. Now I'm going to try and get some damage instability in on these ships, making sure that their long-range 16-inchers are not accurate. Of course, I'm going to have to do that for both of these battleships. And I hope that... Yeah, this guy already has 17% damage instability. That is damage to the main tower. That is excellent. 41% damage instability. All right, we're going to switch fire. We're going to call them a little bit. And I really don't want to close too much more than I currently have. Considering that torpedoes are a very real concern for me right now. I am not at all interested in testing the torpedo blisters on these older ships. 38% ID only. Okay, we got some damage in. It's going to cause about 10% damage instability. 13. Oops, we hit something else in the background. Bunch more. 23 and a half. The other one is still suffering from 46. I'm just going to spread the love around. Deal some damage here. Deal some damage there. And eventually, we'll be able to come out on top. Now, um, we got, what is that, a DD coming in. I didn't even check the DD yet. Oh. So you got range. Um, that leads me to believe this is oxygen that they're using. Oxygen fuel torpedoes. It's time to come around and make sure that those do not pose a threat. Because if they're in range, it's entirely possible that more ships are in range. Okay, both of the battleships have taken some damage. Whoa, what was that? 10,000 damage against a cruiser in the background that seems to be taking on water pretty quick. Torpedo launch range on my ships is 15, so we got to get a bit closer if I even want to consider launching those. Ooh, you got unlucky there, friend. You are not armor for the battleship. The battleship can take it, you cannot. Oh, 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 oh. You really shouldn't be there. You really shouldn't be there. You were warned. But we're going to accidentally knock out a heavy cruiser. Which is fine. Jesus. So far I've taken no damage. Yet I've dealt 73,000 points of damage to myself. That's substantial. What is this cruiser group doing here? The Monarco, the Mizeno. These are the speedboats. 180 million per cruiser. Bulkheads maximum. Scrucious, sorry, spacious crew quarters. Armor is okay, actually. Torpedo range is only 13. That is interesting. So you guys are nowhere in range. Especially considering I'm hitting someone away from you. Ooh, secondary gun damaged. The Italians are really taking a beating here. 
Yep, more damage to the main tower. Full pens. That's going right through the fore deck and the aft belt with a partial pen. This ship is going to have, yeah, a lot of damage. This one, 37% damage and stability. We got zero? Did you switch to a different target or something? You switch to that. Yeah, they're now starting to flood as well. More flooding. We can knock out their battleships early. That's going to be a major blow to the Italian morale. It won't end the battle. It will make my ship safer. Another concern that I kind of do have is there are so many Italian cruisers around. I hope I have enough ammo. I hope I brought enough ammunition to take on all of these ships. We are now at 18 kilometer range. I told Indiana to start targeting a different ship. Maryland is still targeting the ship that she was going for. Oh, shit. Uh, galaxy, I need you to split off. I need you to just go all back emergency. Slow this thing down. Be quick about it. Indiana, Maryland's turn. Galaxy, ahead standard. Rejoin the division. Shit. <clears throat> Chattanooga could be getting attacked here. Chattanooga, move. Smoke yourself up and run. Range in these cruisers. It's probably so much so that they're starting to get pretty annoyed with you. And those 6.1s can hurt a lot. Yeah, yeah. Supposedly they can't pen me. I doubt it. I doubt it. How's the Italian battleship doing? Not very well. Looks like the ship might flood. And then we can focus our full attention on the Ammiraglio di Santbon. Sorry if I butchered that. Um, this fire is currently with a half percent chance to hit me. And it seems to be getting smoked up all over the place from friendlies. Everybody focus fire. How expensive was this battleship? 440 million, that's a bargain. Although my ships might actually be cheaper. Yeah, look at that. It's the old dreadnoughts, the old faithfuls. But even with 13 inch guns, even at a pretty slow speed, <laughs> these things, oh, they don't even have a fully optimized radar. They got a generation two radar, not generation three. They are really doing a lot of damage. Incoming torpedoes, one, two. Chattanooga turn a little more. It'll be fine. Got one CA over there. That's outside of their torpedo range. Okay. Proceed with the attack. Oh! I'm sorry. This is what you happen, or it's what you get when you're trying to smoke up your friend. You take 60,000 points in damage with a salvo that wasn't meant for you. But, uh, you know, it did kind of hit you. And the Amiralio, no longer enjoying a smokescreen, getting wide open to attack now. This thing has a lot of armor. Holy moly. Okay, six inch superstructure armor. We are interestingly getting over pens, of course, once you hit a torpedo launcher. We're no longer getting deck pens. Everybody switch to high explosive. Spacious crew quarters. Standard bulkheads. This could... be an interesting target for firing. And I mean eliminating the ship by overwhelming fires. Yeah, everybody's using HE. Ooh, that struck a nerve. Destroy a torpedo launcher. For five and a half K. Galaxy, what happened to you? You took a hit? Yeah, I took a couple of hits. From the 16. From the Amiralio. Well, it doesn't help that we're broadside, but I want to maximize my firepower. I want to make sure that I launch as many shells with decent accuracy as possible. That torpedo could be a threat to the galaxy. Okay, that 
<laughs> that sounds a little like an overstatement. One torpedo can destroy the galaxy. No, it's not quite that bad. Um, I'm talking about the battleship. Yeah, the Amiralio is going to be toast in more ways than one. We're going to have our own ships change course. Uh-oh, this is going to get exciting. Uh, you're already on the turn. You need to continue. Rudder full starboard. We're kind of getting pincered here between the torps. Hold back emergency. I think we're clear of one. Or I just messed up and I'm going to get hit twice. I'm going to get hit twice. Shit. Uh -oh. Yeah, the Italians are not throwing duds. The Italians throwing actual full blast weapons at me. So far though, damage isn't that bad. Indiana has already contained her flooding. Maryland can rejoin Indiana. Come on, can you eliminate the battleship? Galaxy rejoin. There. All good. Giuseppe. Almost in range of their torps. Gotta be careful with that one. Holy shit. 7% structural on the battleship. 6. 2. It's gonna be either fire or their crew surrenders. Structural. Okay. Right then. So, these Italian speedboats... They even have a pretty healthy amount of armor. We're fighting at what? 15? 12 and a half kilometer range. Okay. So at 12 and a half kilometer range, I can pen about 1.4 inches of armor with the AP from the 13 inches. But the Galaxy... The Galaxy can do better. So these two, I'm going to fire with AP. And you are going to fire... What the fuck are you shooting? The Veloce. Oh, that's an iron arrow. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, uh, Veloce means speed. And uh, she's doing 19 knots out of her 35. But why my ships picked the farthest away target, I don't know. Okay, you're going to target that one. You're going to target that one. You're going to target this one. You may commence your firing whenever you see fit. Like I said before, and I'm sticking to that statement, the Italian Navy here is not defeated. They can still pose a massive risk, considering the amount of torpedoes they can just fling in my general direction, and they might actually hit something, as the Indiana has already shown. Shells-wise, we should be able to keep hurting them for a while longer. The Indiana and Maryland don't have any secondaries worth a damn. The Galaxy does with her 7-inch. That could be useful. We're just not hitting anything. Ooh, that left a mark. Scipione Africano. That's the Chattanooga. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a retreat because I don't really see a good purpose for that ship right now. So who hurt you? Is it the galaxy? No. Maryland. Yeah. <clears throat> Maryland's AP that probably crushed her. Okay, good work. Mm, what's your range? 17-3. So I'm in torpedo range. Oh boy. Uh, is this going to work out? Yes, please. Whoa. <laughs> that got too close for comfort. Oh, and there's more where that came from. Yeah, we're starting to get into torpedo range of everybody. Start running away. Oh, boy. This is not good, Maryland. Ow. 7,000. Was that you're doing? What sort of torpedo was that? A DD? Wow. Yeah, this one. 
That's a 22 inch torpedo. Good lord. Distinctly unfun. Um, torpedo this. Still got a launcher on that side, that is. Secondaries on the Alessandro. Maryland's trying to reshape her formation. She's been taking too much damage. Maryland, we're not going to do that. We're going to turn back. Maryland's going to be slow. Oh boy. There's more. Some of the secondaries on the galaxy are getting destroyed. Like I said, these guys are definitely not out of the woods yet. Maryland now has two damaged engines. That's going to add to the fun. <clears throat> Eight knots currently. 14% losses here. Need to reduce numbers here. Start culling them a little. And torpedoes don't care about damage stability. They don't care what their launching platform is like. They just want to be in the water and they'll just take it from there. Everybody's smoking up again. Lovely. You have just been torpedoing what exactly? The galaxy? Really? Okay, there goes one heavy. You're going to change course preemptively. So are you. We're going to turn to port. Oh, crap. we got four AP shells left. Ooh, galaxy turn. <sighs> Oof. Walls of skill. Many walls, not so much skill. Shit. <clears throat> I cannot outrun that one. <sighs> Ow. This is what I get for sending a couple of battleships out without heavy cruiser escort or without a battle cruiser to back them up. It's gonna be painful. Indiana, can you actually do anything against this DD? Your four inchers with AP do have the range. I'm ignoring that torpedo because it doesn't have the range. Boy. Maryland turn, Indiana turn. Just gonna start managing these ships one by one now. Try and focus the DD with your sevens. How many sevens you got left? Port side's fine. Starboard side, lost one. Yeah, one's down. Incoming torpedo straight from behind. Maryland really does not want to get hit again. Indiana, maintain your course. Galaxy takes a while to listen to her rudder. Steady. Should be good with all ships. Yeah, we're good. Look at the how far these Italian ships are from each other, right? Far left, we've got the Ottaviano. The distance to the other light cruiser is 30, sorry, 40 kilometers. Wow, these guys are so spread out. Hmm. And these guys, I don't think they've even done anything. They still got a lot of torpedoes left. Ooh, that was a beautiful hit. 42,000. That's going to be your end. Who did that? That was the galaxy. 16 inches. Alright, we're going to have to retreat and get back here with a couple more heavy cruisers. Because at this rate, we will not be able to finish this fight. If I can get a couple of uh, Voyager class cruisers with their 10 inches, that should be pretty capable of starting to... Uh, Take the fight back to them, as opposed to just running away. 
Yeah, they're gone. Galaxy maintaining her speed. She's still got a pretty decent amount of shells as well. The issue with the galaxies is they only got one star and turret. But right now, I'm not too eager to turn her around to bring her guns to bear. Because I suspect that's going to cost me the ship. That is not worth it. Range of the closest. 16 kilometers out. <clears throat> Alright, if we can hurt some of their heavy cruisers. Put them back into dry dock for repairs. That would help. Because then I can get that time and send some cruisers over to help here. Urgently. I also have Sovereign, which I think is chilling out in the channel. So that is another ship that I can send here. And hopefully make life on my own ships here a lot easier. Not that Sovereign alone is going to be capable of doing that. But she definitely has a ton of firepower and a lot of secondaries. I just really do not want to have the Sovereign get hit by a torpedo. A stray torpedo at that and detonate. Because that would be the end of the campaign as it is the flagship. So that concludes our first encounter with the Italians. For about 10,000 victory points, they've lost five ships, notably two of their battleships. Um, the heavy cruisers did take a beating, but survived. A couple of their light cruisers survived, uh, sorry, died, uh, and most of them survived. So they'll definitely be coming back for round two. And I gotta be sure to have enough heavy firepower from the cruisers to assist here. Because had I had that, I probably would have been a lot safer. Um, not so much that the heavy cruisers can easily dodge all the torpedoes, though their sonar would help. No, it's the 10 inchers. They fire faster, and with heavy cruisers, I definitely dare close the range more, allowing those 10 inchers to deal a lot more damage. So let's see what other. Oh, hello. Uh, what other ships we can vector over, if only we didn't have an encounter over here in Southeast Asia. You see, I have taken over two of the French colonies. I'm now working on the third. And it seems that the French don't like that. So we got a couple of their heavy cruisers against a bunch of my battle cruisers. See, this is where all the cruisers are at. But these are Scrantons. These are not even the Voyagers. Let's fight it out. And let's show the French that their colonies belong to us now. Here we go. Battle cruisers, Ranger, Delaware, Hawaii, Arkansas, and New Hampshire. Lots of firepower. These are some of the older class battle cruisers. They're not New Pennsylvanias, but they're weird forward-facing weaponry. These are the 12-inchers, which do remarkably well against some of their cruisers. Now, they're already taking hits, these French ships. And again, torpedoes are my biggest concern. Fortunately, it looks like they don't carry that many of them, if any at all. Yeah, the French light cruisers, that was it. They carry them. These things are dangerous. And for some reason, feeling very bold, coming directly at me. Now, let's see if my heavy cruisers can do a bit more work. Full River, Cambridge, who else we got here? Uh, Minneapolis, Oregon. I want to have... Oh, I got a lot of smaller stuff here. Alright, no matter. I need to have, like, a fast heavy cruiser. Because the battle cruisers are currently faster than my heavies. Let's slow down the battle cruisers. Make sure that they gain accuracy and that the heavy cruisers gain range. In this game, even though I've played it for hundreds of hours, I'm still kind of struggling with the role of destroyers in a situation like this. Because I feel that I can take a couple of hits on like a battleship, a battle cruiser, or a heavy cruiser even. Just destroyers, one-on-one, -on -one, they're great. Um, if you're looking at fights where they can take down a convoy, that's great. Although those seem to be exceedingly rare lately. If you're using them in a role like this, I always find them to be a bit more of a liability rather than an asset. Simply because you don't know when they're going to launch their torpedoes unless you micromanage them. And if you find that they do launch their torpedoes in the middle of your convoy, well, they tend to be more trouble than they're worth. Good lord, this guy is getting lit up. More of smoke up. 
The smoke too, by the way. I know that DDs can smoke. It's just a question of when do you use it. Because most of the time, it seems to be... Oh boy, this is what I meant. It seems to be more of a detriment than an asset. Jeez, we're really showing the French what's what over here. I wouldn't be surprised if we're getting so many shots on this target that accuracy is going to get impeded by the own... Just the simple amount of shells that we're putting in the water next to that ship. Nobody knows what shell is theirs. And thus, nobody knows uh, how to adjust their accuracy to actually hit something. You see the stat? Uh, various fun elements. No, 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 no. Wow, we even get a slight sun glare. Okay. Interesting. I was expecting with so many guns shooting at the same target that shell splashes would cause issues, but they're just not even in the list. Wow, okay. That's good. It means I don't have to worry about that. I'd still love it if this game <clears throat> had a quick one night stand with Rule the Waves 3. And that we got to be able to take this... I'd say that not strictly the game itself, maybe, but the campaign. And thus the game, I suppose. Uh, like, all the way to 1990? Something like that? Where you're going to be adding things like missiles, um, sea whiz systems, so closing weapon systems, decoys, chaffs. Pretty much everything that sea power is going to throw onto the ships, but with an editor. We need the... How should I put this? The, the brainchild? The... <laughs> the red-headed stepchild between Dreadnoughts, Rule the Waves 3, and Sea Power. Oh, with the animations and the graphics of Task Force Admiral. That would be phenomenal. Can somebody explain where all my shells are going? They have done some damage to me with what? Oh, with an 8-incher. Okay. Anyway, I want to skip past this battle pretty quick so I can actually get the ships over to the battleships in the Mediterranean. Those battleships need help dealing with the Italian Navy. Did we get everybody? Oh, there's a CL surviving. Come on, George. Oh, you're on low fuel. Oh, you poor thing. You can't even run properly. to the small ships. Look at that. They fired, what, once? No, they hit once. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Sorry, France. <clears throat> that was a misguided effort to defend, uh, sorry, to defend, not defeat, to defend your colony. Well, decent attempt, but uh, poor execution. You just didn't have the right ships for the job. Now, I've located a couple of my Voyager class cruisers. We got the Quincy, we got the Rochester and Voyager. I'm going to keep the Voyager with the invasion fleet that's currently parked next to French Guiana. But I'll send the Quincy and uh, Rochester over here. As for the last one, uh, I believe there is one or more in Havana. Oh, we just got the Challenger over there. And two Defiance. Yikes. No, I'll send Northampton and Challenger over to the Med to help out here. The Challenger, unfortunately, is still undergoing repairs, so she wouldn't be able to help. Now, the task force that I have over here should be able to help. This is a couple of the Scrantons, 1942. We have the Nebraska, that's a Sentinel. We got Illinois, Sentinel, and we got the Sovereign with her 18-inch guns. So she's going to also make her way with her escorts over to the Mediterranean. Now, there is one more ship that I'm eagerly awaiting the arrival of. That is the battleship Titan. The Titan is a battleship armed with 21.9 inch guns. Oh, sorry, 20.9 inch guns. Very, very much a sniper. Unfortunately, she still needs six more months to build. 
And then, on top of that, she still needs a bunch of time to get commissioned. So, it's going to probably take almost up to a year of in-game time in order to get the ship out here. Anyway, um, we'll just have to be patient and hope that the Italians don't immediately hit me with this fleet. Lest I find myself in a bunch of trouble. Let's pull the fleet back a little bit. Like there. We're going to leave the med. I don't want to provoke the Italians too much because I don't have the numbers, not yet. But the Italians will return and so will the US Navy. Hope you join me on the next one. I'll be joining me or I'll be back soon with the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon for more.